Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, talking on my D-Explosives with Jonas. Uh, we are doing a podcast, TNT, D-I-N-O, and my D-H-T. Uh, we, we are. Want to order a pizza, you want anything? You're going to order a pizza? Yeah. Do you uh, want anything? <laughs> I'm good, dude. I, you I'm, sure? I'm good on the pizza. All right, just let it be known. Yeah, dude, he likes the pizzas. I don't know where we're going to to turn down the volume on the TV either. Yeah, he likes so, the pizza. So, uh, you know, thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Uh, whether you're watching us live on, uh, watch it, we're not doing this live anymore, watching us on uh, YouTube, <laughs> I'm all discombobulated, she talked it, about fucking pizza. It wasn't the pizzas, I figured uh, it was And the then pizza. I couldn't find the remote to turn the volume down on the TV. It's all uh, right. Spotify or iTunes, that's where you can hear us auditorily tickle your eardrums, or on our YouTube channel where you can watch it semi-live, or not live at all. Let's subscribe to our Crazy Time Media. This dude does Twitch things. When you say auditorially, I think of like gymnasiums or like the, the auditorium like yeah dude like we were doing a pep rally like you can hear me in the auditorium yeah uh yeah i'm on twitch every single day that's tnt Dino, tnt d-i-n-o-m-i-g-h-t underscore crazy town me what am, how was it underscore crazy town at twitch.tv yeah dude he, he's famous guys i'm not i hate you <laughs> <laughs> oh Snippy dang darn. What's up, dude? Snippy hey, dang darn. Is that how you feel? <laughs> Snippy this darn it. This fucking podcast is already off the rails, and I love it, dude. I <laughs> yeah, love it. It is. It's so fucking far. I love we're, it. We're, we're a minute and 30 seconds in. We ain't talked about anything. We fucked up nine times. <laughs> I tried to play Candy Crush for like half a second as a joke on my phone, and it's already giving me ads. Yeah, dude. I mean, can you it, believe this shit? Yeah, it's like phone aids. It, basically, <laughs> it's like I called her one time, and she's just like, "Hey, remember me?" And she's like, "We're dating now." <laughs> like, All I did was say hello to you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. It's nuts, man. It's it's a be it's amazing how many phone STIs you can encounter too. Oh god! Too. Well, you know what? Tender. The phone STIs are nowhere near as widespread as the laptop STIs. Oh <laughs> yeah, PC STIs are awful. At, at least with mobile, like most most of the websites that have tons of pop ups, they don't pop up on mobile because mobile doesn't have pop ups really. It does, yeah, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. like nearly as like. I just mean like those invasive apps where it's like I'll just be like looking at a text message and all of a sudden in my hot bar I'll have like, hey, Netflix wants you to <laughs> sign up. And hey, Tinder them. says there's some hot singles in your area. Yeah, hey, dude, there's always hot singles there's in your area. Constantly hot singles. Well, since we're off the rails, I got a perfect fucking topic to talk about. Do you? It's an off the rails topic. All right. You ever been doing something, man? Like, you're out there, you're sweating away. You're you ever been doing something? <laughs> yeah, you ever been doing something? Never. Never done anything. I don't, I don't, I don't deny it. <laughs> and, like, you know, you gotta pee and there's not a bathroom. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, you're all like, man, I really gotta, I, I hurt inside. I've never hurt from having to pee. I, uh, they used to happen to me when I go play volleyball. Very rarely, because a lot of times I'm playing volleyball, I'm sweating so much, I can uh -huh. drink a million fluids and still never have to go pee. I found an article that talked about what athletes do when they gotta piss. They just let it, let it slide? Dude. Let it ride? There's a lot of things here. They there's had, a lot of things. They tape a duct tape a colostomy bag to their junk. <laughs> Jesus, maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> so well, let me say this first off. It said mm. this has this has nothing to do with them actually urinating. Okay. But it said it took like a 300 pound athlete, so like an offensive lineman, you know? Yeah. From football. Mm -hmm. It takes 192 ounces of daily hydration to maintain their level of hydration. That's a lot to maintain. Yeah. I drink a lot of stuff, dude. I'm not, I'm not 300 pounds anymore, but like, <laughs> I drink a lot of stuff. I drink a lot of fluids. And you make fun of me because I pee. Oh, you pee? No, John, come on. Your your pee regime is a little. It's a little crazy sometimes. Dude, but it's, I, what it's all right. I don't pee when I play volleyball. I don't know why you, it even matters to you. <laughs> it doesn't really. But uh, and they said 128 more ounces they have to take in on a game day. Oh, yeah. So like, so I got a game sweat. day. These motherfuckers got to drink like 300 ounces. Which is like two and, a, two and a half, three gallons of fluid. Yeah, they need electrolytes. Yeah, dude. I get it. So, they said, um, it went through, it was an article on ESPN. 
they went through many, many different sports and athletes that have talked about where they've peed while they were. Oh, no. They said Michael Phelps is the minute he peed in a pool. <laughs> ah! Uh, I figured he's not the only one. Oh, no, I'm sure a lot of swimmers do. Uh, Manny Ramirez, he was a baseball player. Uh, he is admitted to he went and, he went through the outfield wall and peed back there one time in the middle of a baseball game in like 2005. Like because those fences, the outfield fences, they open. You can go through the, the fence a lot of times. Ew. And uh, they said uh, there was a football player. I think he played for the Dolphins. Said he played 82 career f- football games. He pissed his pants every single one. Really? They said some of these football players just pee their pants. Because no, they have nowhere else to go. No. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, they pee their pants. So I'm like tackling this dude. And I, granted, you're in like full football armor as right. well. Like it's but not easy to get to even pull your junk out to go pee. Because yeah. you got like skin tight shit on. There's tape. There's like. But I'm just thinking, like, what if I, like, slap some dude on the butt because of a good play? There's so much different wetness out there. There's spit. Uh, There's blood. There's pee. (laughs) Every game. Yeah. He said every game he pissed his pants. Wow. It said said NFL players will pee in cups, on the ground, in in towels. (laughs) <laughs> the, like they said behind the bench yeah. the one one guy said that hit, like the um the teammates will hold up like parkas or like towels so they can pee yeah, but yeah, then there's yeah. always like the fear that they're gonna prank you and just run away while you're in the middle of peeing what <laughs> so um, you have to get somebody you trust yeah it said uh in the tour this de france there was a guy who stood up on his bike while he was gliding and Pulled his junk out and pissed up while he was riding. Yeah, his I bike. can see that. Because he, he was the lead guy, he didn't want to lose his spot. I've heard of uh, I've heard of like those uh, cross country bikers just like yeah. letting it, letting it fly and just uh, like leaving a trail. They said that uh, a there's <laughs> there's some baseball players or pitchers like batters or pitchers that will pee on their hands to help with like blisters. Because the some of the chemicals that are in urine is like in moisturizers or something like that. All like right, so I'm I'm since you can't hear it, I'm just kinda giving Jonas a look. Yeah. <laughs> right he has now. nothing to say because he's awestruck. I'm a little one. I'm a little awestruck. <laughs> so it says that women in sports are even more hell bent. I'm not peeing. They said they said women's hockey players sometimes will have to be so bad that they'll get hit. And they'll pee in their pants a little bit because they have to pee so bad that someone will hit them and the force will cause them to piss their pants. <laughs> I don't know if it's more shocking that these women are just pissing themselves or the fact that there's women's hockey. I, <laughs> I seriously right. didn't know that even existed. Uh, they said uh, tennis players actually get pee breaks, but they said the yes. tennis players will abuse that. And if the sun yep. is in their eyes, they will go take an extended pee break to let the sun Sunset. set behind yeah. the stadium. Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, they said that... Uh, there was another tennis player that said he went he he went he won like he went up two games lost the next two took a pee break to go into the bathroom and scream at himself in the mirror to give himself a pep talk <laughs> <laughs> about how he wasn't gonna fuck up this match he was gonna do it. I'm not um, gonna have this matchup. And there was even a story of a boxer in boxing. They say you never put on your gloves early because it's just a bad omen that you're going to have to piss. Because mm. once you put them on, you're taped up. They're on until the fight's over. Because yeah, because they're secure. Yeah. And, and then you can't pee with those right. on. And there was a story of a guy who had to pee in his, like, his like they had to, like, figure out who was going to reach up in his shorts and pull his penis out no. so he could pee into a cup <laughs> before he went out to fight. <laughs> no, I don't even, like, honestly, I don't know if I'd even ask you, and you're probably like the... <laughs> <laughs> the closest like, person I would probably ask, but like, yeah, I don't. But know. I don't know if I'm asking you to do that. I'm I just no. Well, yeah, dude, I don't know. <laughs> just say I'm not helping you pee, bro. I mean, if you were a multi-million dollar boxer and you were like, Listen. wow, so now it's the money. I gotta pay this motherfucker to hold my dick. You see this guy? Yeah, well, I mean, the guy who did it for the boxer, I'm sure, was getting paid. If he was like. Okay, dude, you're about to go make six figures on this fight, wow. and you're paying me, and all I got to do is reach up and pull your dick out, push it back in your pants. Uh, all right, so uh, how much is it going to cost me? Will you do it for 50 bucks? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? No, I won't do it for any money. Uh, you just said you just said that you would. No, we would negotiate it right then and there. We negotiating right now. I don't know no, how much it it's going to cost for you to hold my dick while I pee. boxer, dude. 
Yeah, but I can get the money together. Yeah, but you have nothing, nothing to lose right now. When you're about to go fight, it's either you pay me what I want, or you have to piss yourself while you're uh, trying to defend your title in the ring. Oh, so you're a gold digger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blackmail. Bri- I don't know what that would be. It would be like, I don't know what it would be, but I would be like, yeah. So you can either piss yourself, or you can pay me what I want. Okay, um, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, and I don't know what get it would your, be. Get your, get your money, queen. How much is it gonna cost? I'm sure people want to know, Jonas. So you're advertising your new business. <laughs> I just gotta call up, call up Vander Holyfield and be like, "Hey, your next fight, bro. Put them gloves on early. Let's get going." Jonas, Jonas is hold your rod while you go. I like that. Yeah, I'll just pull it out. I ain't gonna hold it. Oh, you, come on, Jonas. If you just pull, if you pull it out, it's gonna go all over like a loose water hose. Right. No, you gotta hold it so that and it's I need steady. extra for that. <laughs> so wait a minute. So pulling it out is what the silver package, <laughs> right? <laughs> you, want, you want the platinum package, dude? Shit. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. So the gold package, the gold package is I'll hold it while you go, keep it steady. The platinum package is I dab the tip with paper towel left. <laughs> yeah, I put it back. I put it away. Yeah, I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> If you want our put, our put yeah, back service. I'll pull it out Yo. for silver. I'll pull it out and hold it for gold. You want it put away before you go back out to the ring? That's the platinum package, bitch. It comes with a free mint. Yeah, I'll put a mint in the tip, dude, right before you go out there. What? No, you don't put a mint in the tip. You I'll put suppository a- your... Oh, Jonas. Jesus. I'm thinking of like just putting like an Andes under their tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and put an Andy's on their under their sack, dude. Oh get it all. <laughs> what <laughs> they do in the hotels? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> like lift and put an Andy's. In there, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh it, we God. told you guys it was off the rails, dude. Yo, dude this was... is pretty much on on brand for us, though. Yeah, to be that's honest. True. Um, yeah, dude. So I saw like I don't <laughs> know if I could like if I was a football player if I could just piss my pants. But you know what, dude? <sighs> it's hot. You're out there. You're making all sorts of money. I don't know what the money really has to do with it. I mean, like, I'm not going to piss myself. I work at Wendy's. I'm going to be like, no, I'm going to the bathroom. You're not going to piss yourself for free is what you're saying. No, I'm still getting paid at Wendy's. Yeah. Like, we could be in the middle of fucking lunch rush. Oh, yeah. And I'd be like, I'm going to the bathroom. And they'd be like, but. And I'd be like, but okay. what, motherfucker? Get a burger. Fair but, like, enough. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes can't be like, I'm going to pee, y'all. Run a play real quick without me. Yeah. Fair enough. Have you ever seen, like, the, uh, like, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody, but have you ever seen the pictures of, like, fucking Fergie when she was performing with, like, the Black Eyed Peas a long time ago and she just, like, pissed herself on stage and, like, everybody's like, yo, Fergie just pissed herself on stage. Yeah, but what's she supposed to do? Say, sorry, guys, I'm going to take a 10-minute break? Uh, I mean, I yeah. Would. If I was a famous musician, dude, I literally would have no problem be like, guys, I got to piss. I'm like the band can play some music for y'all for a minute. Yeah. This is a real moment. Yeah, you <laughs> always has to go take a leak. You know the lyrics. You sing my part. I'll be right back. Right. Especially I, if it's a three four man ensemble. Yeah. yeah. I, I, or yeah, I'd be I like, yeah, that. I'd be like, hey guys, jam out for two minutes so I can go take a piss real quick. <laughs> jam out for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, honestly, it, yeah. I think that's a better look than just sitting there with a piss patch on your pants. Well, yeah, but like it's for like the rest of your concert. when you go to concerts, like. People, I think, look for those real moments that they don't get listening to the CD. You know what I mean? Like, if you go to, like, a comedy yeah. show with your favorite comic and he sits there and he, like, he fucks up a joke or he, like, just sits around and talks about something stupid in between jokes or whatever. Yeah. That's, like, an intimate moment that you don't get to see ever. You know, this them being themselves, like, whatever. And if you were, like, the lead man of, like, you know, like, like Steven Tyler Aerosmith concert, just like, all right, everybody, I got to piss so bad. I'll be back. <laughs> we're going to jam out. I, everyone would be like, oh, man, Steven Tyler took a piss. It was funny. Ha, ha. <laughs> or would you rather come home saying I saw Steven Tyler piss himself on stage? Well, I mean, that's more embarrassing for him. Yeah, but would you not feel closer? Closer to Like, who? I tell you, I got to piss every day. But he didn't get the platinum package, so I don't know <laughs> what he does. Fine, Joe. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> so I saw, dude, it's really funny. Yeah. You know, we were talking uh, about how bad Madden is. Oh, yeah. Do you see that video on Reddit? No. Some dude put out a video trying to get the hashtag NFL drop EA trending. Yeah. Um, because this year's Madden has the worst score any Madden game ever out of 35, 30 or 35 years or whatever. Yeah, but... It has... 
um, like Metacritic or something, it has two positive reviews, four neutral reviews, and like 600 <laughs> negative reviews. I mean, okay. So look, <laughs> like I know a lot of it is like probably just like review bombs uh, because of the fact that it's it's known what they're doing yeah by this well, point. And it's funny the video this dude put out made every point that i told you in that video in like his video went 15 minutes it was really long like i watched like three minutes of it and got the gist but he was just like everything that i told you about about how like they're trying to get monetized through my ultimate team they don't care about whatever they have a monopoly at every point it's a shame man so at least i'm not the only one that realizes that <laughs> And, uh, um, yeah, the world realizes it, man. The video but, game world. But he was showing glitches, and like, I guess there's a glitch in this game where like the whole team won't line up on one side. <laughs> it was just like the defense will be yeah. there, the the ball will be on the field, no offense. Stuff that should not even be a thing, dude. No, it's, dude, it's that's nuts. like that's like early alpha testing fixes. Nuts. Yeah, dude. Um. Also, I thought this. Have you ever like? Had something happen to you? <laughs> nope, never had anything happen to <laughs> and me. Like, sorry. And like, you knew you were fucked, but you still like, you know, the old adage of like, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. You make uh, you make zero percent of shots you don't take. Right, right, exactly. So uh, <laughs> that uh, that cop that killed that dude in Minneapolis. Whoa, uh, Jonas. <laughs> Hold on. You can't just go linking like us laughing about shit to some real shit. <laughs> this is real shit. I don't well, know. I, I think the audacity of what he did is kind of funny. He's like, hey, Judge, you should dismiss my charges. No. No. We sh he, and he said there's not probable cause that he should be guilty. Like, motherfucker, they got an eight-minute video of you kneeling on somebody's fucking face and the audacity of your ass to, like, request your charges are dismissed. Mm, like, mean, just, what, what else could he do? Bro, that's honest. what I mean. He knows he's so fucked. Yeah. Like, he's just like, uh, hey, judge, what do you think about throwing the case out? <laughs> like, what, maybe what, he'll just say yes. Like, What kills me is that, mm, never mind. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to get into that bag. I'm not going to get into it. But if the guy had just been like, hey, you know what? I'm really sorry. That's my fault. You know, release something like that. Nah, that's happened. No one, you know, my condolences to the family. And it was not none of that. None of right. that. Right. Like, I'm sorry goes a long way. Especially if it's done impromptu by you yes. on your own. Like, the second that, that shit hit the news, if he would have came out and been like, oh, my God, I am so fucking yes. sorry this happened. Yeah. Like. He yeah. was just like, I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take some time off the force. I'm really need to, you know, reflect on my life. Just damage and, control. Just common goddamn sense. Show any sort of remorse. Period. And that in lies why people are mad about it for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's dude. why I people. I thought are it was mad. so. I saw. I was like, I thought that. I thought it was a fucking the onion story. Mm. I was like, this motherfucker had the audacity to fucking mm. be like. Hey, judge, can you throw that? Can you throw that? Imagine if the judge would have just been like, okay, throw it out. It wouldn't surprise me a bit, Jonas. Well, right. That, I mean, like, if people are already fucking mad, rightfully so. Ooh, Jonas, man. You trying to get my blood boiling today? No, dude. I figured I'd start out with urine. <laughs> and then you move straight into my blood. Huh? That's true. Thanks. Well, it was urine to holding your penis. <laughs> Whoa, Jonas. <laughs> Don't say your penis when you, you look at it. You asked me how much it would cost. I, just because I wanted you to set your prices, Jonas. You run a, use your platform to, you know, promote your side hustle. <laughs> side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got anything for me? I've been rambling out the mouth. Um, we don't have I, tons of time, so you got quick nah, hits? it's fine. I don't have much. I have that MGM uh, Resorts in... Las Vegas. Yes. They saw a 61% dip in tourists uh, just in Vegas in general. Yeah. And they just recently fired 18,000 furloughed employees. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they were they were furloughed and they're officially laid off permanently. Yeah. Yes. 18,000 in one state at one time. In one city. In one second, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um they are that's it's it's fucked man yeah las vegas is is really feeling it man and that's not the only business out there that's just the oh, largest no. one that hit and i thought i was just like that is a lot and i'm like if you are living if, if you are working at an mgm resort you're already living in an area of las vegas that's already super expensive to live in right right yeah for the most part yeah dude it's a. Uh... 
it's crazy. Um, yeah, there. Uh, what's also uh, it's like there's one there's one casino, Golden Nugget, that is uh, they're an, they're becoming an online casino. And oh, they and they are, they're right now they're only legal in one state in New Jersey. They do like a sports book and a gambling. Really, but uh, they're they're they have pending, uh, pending agreements to become legal in Michigan. Michigan's doing like a mm. should we should we allow gambling online? Pennsylvania has the same thing, dude. That's a slippery slope, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be like a gambling app. That people yeah, can. That's, that's a slippery slope. Oh yeah, no shit, dude. You can sit at home and play slots on your phone with for real money rather than going mm. to the casino, dude. But do you know how much money them motherfuckers are gonna make? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're going public too. Bow. <laughs> 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 Monies, people don't make money off that shit. Um, yeah, dude. It's just I can't. Believe, it's like eighteen thousand people. Like I think. I think Ashtabula only had at it, like, when we were growing up, like, 35,000 people. That would be, like, half of the town getting laid off yeah. at once. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, and out of those 35,000, some are too old to work and some are too young to work. It would basically be the entire workforce of Ashtabula laid off at one Jeez, time. Jeez, man. That, that, it's, just, it's absolutely crazy to me, the amount of people that are losing their jobs. And I just I just hope that everybody at home is doing well. I hope well, yeah, you're all doing all right. The shit goes on, the more likely that things yeah. are, Like, I was thinking about this, dude. Like... If, um, like, we live in Austin, it's a fairly big fucking city. There's a million people here. Like, they're, like the downtown area, like, all think like all these plazas are full of stores and shit everywhere, mm. all over the whole city. Like, if this shit, if, if this shit goes on for, like, another year, <laughs> or another six months, whatever, like, when all said and done, shit, like, gets back to, like, old normal, it's gonna be like a motherfucking ghost town for businesses out there. A little bit, like the, you know, potentially. I mean, a lot of a lot of strong ones are gonna fail. Yeah, because I was just thinking about like, because what what made me think that? Or a lot of the weak ones are gonna yeah, fail. And the strong ones, ones, ones are yeah. strong ones it's arise. Like, it's well, I got to thinking like, because uh oh, actually, I don't know why I thought about this. Right by our house, there's a paint store. Yeah. Uh, right at the corner up here, and I haven't seen that thing open in months. And I'm like, and I drove by and I'm like, man, I haven't seen anybody in the parking lot of the store in months. I wonder if they're open at all. I wonder if they've been open at all for six months. How can a business not get any income for six months? And, start, and that it just started like. PPPs, man. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> the paycheck protection. But, you know, those were taken up by. Steak, the Lakers and. Steak Shack. Yeah. Yeah. You know, companies that really need it. Yeah. Not not Joe's paint shop. You know, the Los Angeles motherfucking Lakers need it, you know, because they ain't got no money. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So yeah, Jones. We just gotta. We gotta be thankful that we we are in a position where we are not like seriously affected. Yeah, dude. I was just actually just talking to a family member today, and was just like, yeah. I mean, like people are working. People are <laughs> like, Ooh. like that's it's it's kind of crazy that like working is like a uh, is a blessing right now. Yes. No matter how much you hate your fucking job, there's a bunch of people who would take that job in a second. Because they ain't working. They broke. They right. eating ramen. Their kids are starving. Yeah, man. It, it's it's a fortunate time, but it's also like, yeah, well, I guess I probably can't find a new job for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Type type. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, so. It's amazing, man. It's honestly what, what we're living through is, it is an amazing thing. Once like, in like a five generation thing. Well, how many generations is a century? <laughs> Ten? No, wait, no. Five? Four. Four generations in a century? Is that how it kind of works? I have no clue, sir. But yeah, like, but essentially, like, yeah, like, I mean, like, we're living through something that, like, our great, our grandparents didn't live, our great-grandparents never it's, experienced previously. This is something that is, like, it's going to change our culture. Not even, like, as Americans, but on a, on a planetary level, it's going to change the way that humans interact with each other. For decades. Yes. Yep. Probably until the end of time. Yeah, <laughs> to the end that. of time so. because now it's just like okay, so this is a real thing and it could be worse. Right? Oh, absolutely. It could be like a hundred percent dead. Could be flesh eating. <laughs> yes, it could right. be. Yeah. Penis consuming. That would be awful. <laughs> Every penis gone. Jonas would go out of business. <laughs> yeah. <I'll, laughs> how am I going to get my boxer for hire? <laughs> Uh, but anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you already done that. I do the Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. All right, for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Yeah.